Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst for CFDs.com, a leading spread betting and uh, CFD brokerage. Be sure to visit the website www.cfds.com and uh, open up a trading account. Or alternatively, you can visit the educational website, which is www.cfds.education. Okay, folks, uh, bringing a uh, review, a uh, midday uh, afternoon review of the European markets. Let's see exactly where they are and where they stand. Okay. Right, let's uh, try and work this out, folks. Okay, so from a Euro uh, Asian market perspective, first of all, uh, the Nikkei was down almost 2%. The Shanghai, impressive, uh, finished uh, in the green. So that certainly is a positive sign for global markets, from my perspective, especially when it comes to the uh, FTSE 100 and the S&P to a large extent as well. Although the US markets did flush overnight towards a close, given the fact that... Uh, even even though the uh, Miss Yellen didn't actually raise rates. Uh, now, having said that, the Kiwi and the Aussie have started to reverse. Uh, the Euro certainly has pushed higher. It's the Euro that's hurting the European markets this morning. So uh, I did attempt to go along on the Euro stocks. I have been stopped out for minus 40 at 3175, although my FTSE trades have been very, uh, very, very successful this morning, given the fact that, uh, obviously, if you have a weaker dollar, it helps commodities. Commodities go higher, and that, in turn, obviously helps the uh, the actual FTSE 100, and that should, in turn, help the S&P 500, too. And I'll explain exactly uh, where the S&P 500 stands as well. Uh, at this current juncture, given the fact that Shanghai is positive, I'm taking that as a positive signal, although the, uh, the Nikkei, obviously, is negative. And that's mainly due to the fact that, obviously, the US DJPY trade. So if the US uh, dollar falls, then obviously the yen is obviously appreciating. And uh, that obviously hurts the, the Nikkei in terms of exports. So it, the FOMC really has uh, created strength and weakness. So weakness for Europe, because obviously weaker uh, dollar equals a higher euro, and that hurts exports there because it's a zero-sum game. Same fact, same, uh, obviously, uh, argument there with regards to the, to the Japanese markets. Although the Chinese markets have totally, uh, have, well, certainly have prospered. Why? Because number one, the market is stabilizing in terms of uh, the recent sell off uh, and uh, the measures, the fiscal measures and the monetary measures that have been put in place to stabilize the Chinese markets, which, which is good. Okay. And also with regards to emerging markets. So if there is a delay in any rate hike, then that helps emerging markets, which in turn helps China. And if China is prospering, then the FTSE 100 should prosper and the SP 500 should prosper too. Having said that, the euro rally up to 1.14 certainly is hurting uh, European stocks. Uh, but having but the counter argument to that is that the euro, uh, the rally in the euro really has factored in uh, any uh, any 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 dovish uh, remark from the FOMC. And uh, given the fact that the uh, the ECB is conducting QE, that should certainly keep pressure on the euro on the downside. Okay, right. Let's try and assess what's happening with regards to European markets. First of all, the FTSE 100. Uh, from a uh, fundamental perspective, we all know that the Chinese markets were higher, so therefore it's bullish for the FTSE, although, like I said, the Nikkei was down, and that does have its negative effect as well. In terms of economic data this morning, just uh, going over uh, this morning, really realistically today, uh, although you had the European current account data, nothing really of any major importance, even the US data nothing, has nothing on the docket. So realistically it's all about china and uh, we see uh, how to interpret the fomc from a daily chart perspective for the FTSE 100 to give you a quick review weekly chart still remains within that inside bar on the uh, uh, red candle okay the daily chart itself still oscillating between support and resistance resistance at the 6250 level and obviously support at the 6030 level from my understanding given the fact that the fomc obviously has delayed rates this is actually considered to be bullish for the FTSE 100 and given the fact that china is stabilized as well i'm expecting a thrust higher on the FTSE given the fact that oil will certainly start to push higher too we have uh, if you look at the uh, this is longer term and uh, those that are on my swing trading service know that i am long swing long the FTSE 100 today and i am expecting higher prices if you look at the, let me just bring up my commodities, bear with me, I don't have my commodities here. Uh, copper, gold, crude, okie dokie, dollar, I got dollar in this equation here. No, I need DJFX, DJFX, and I need the dollar. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? The 
dollar is there. I need the euro. Here you are, USD. Here we go. Off we go. So I think I've got everything here now. Bear with me, let me just quickly save this for future reference. Okay, okay, so. Okay, here we go. Right. Let's try and decipher this now. Okay, so the Euro USD, if you look at the daily chart of the Euro USD, we are coming into resistance. This is a resistance zone, therefore, that should be interpreted as being bullish for the European equities at this current juncture. Okay. Uh, looking at the uh, dollar itself, dollar index, obviously we have flushed now quite substantially. The daily chart is into the 200 MA, so again that should act as potential support for the dollar index uh, in, in, the, in the interim, and that should obviously help the European equities to a large extent as well. Okay, bring up the dollar itself, and we are into that zone there, okay? So uh, horizontal support still remains around this region here, obviously we have this support level here, but you are into that 200 MA and you have this unfilled gap above with regards to the dollar itself. Okay, so yes, interesting scenario in terms of the uh, the actual movements and the interpretation of the markets thus far. Okay, now bringing up the chart of copper like I was going to show you and also with regards to oil as well. So if I just bring up a daily chart of oil, as you can see here, we are putting in a higher low and looking for a potential thrust higher. It is holding previous support equals resistance for now. The 60 minute chart itself, in, I mean, in temporarily we have exhausted at this region here but we are holding this potential support zone and looking at previous resistance equal support for now bringing up a chart of copper the copper chart is the most interesting from my perspective if you look at the daily chart of copper and you can clearly see that we have this inverted head and shoulders formation we've, we've cracked above that I did explain in my video yesterday that the uh, the onus was all on the Fed if the Fed uh, is dovish in any way i.e. doesn't rate rate raise rates then you have to adjust your, your position accordingly. Now, given the fact that the Fed hasn't raised rates and now rates expectations are being pushed back, which in turn is actually positive for the equity market, etc., etc., this should obviously cause a dollar to fall or continue to fall, and obviously copper should certainly be catching a bid for, for this conjuncture. Okay, and that's the same with regards to gold too. As you can see, gold has started to move higher. You've got this inverted head and shoulders and right shoulders in, and you are looking to potentially push higher, which again, all in all, is, is positive for the FTSE 100, given the fact that it's a commodity index, and same with regards to the S&P 500. The only conundrum that we have is with regards to the European stocks, because obviously it's a, it's a stronger euro uh, due to the weaker dollar. But having said that, even though we have a weaker dollar, we still have the ECB's QE program. So if you have the ECB's QE program, then... Like I said, that should certainly keep a, a lid on any potential euro bounce and uh, any jawboning or any rhetoric from the ECB in order to talk the euro down will obviously help as well. OK, so that's that's another factor to certainly consider as well. OK, uh, now, so commodities certainly are placed to move higher. So therefore, the FTSE 100, from my understanding and my perspective, is certainly placed to move higher too. OK, bringing up the European indices. Uh, let's just bring up the German DAX. That's been absolutely clobbered today. Uh, looking at a weekly chart, first of all, on the German DAX, we are in an inside bar, so we are consolidating within that green candle, and uh, my expectations are that we will be pushing higher, okay, given the ECB's QE program. Uh, daily chart, again, like I said, we have been hammered as of late, even though the economic data out of Germany has been pretty stellar and pretty impressive, okay, so uh, looking at a 60 minute chart now, we are coming into horizontal support. If this obviously this cracks here, we have 9930 and obviously 99850 below. Uh, but given the fact that the 10-minute chart is certainly oversold in terms of its pivot S3 being over here and the, and the actual chart itself is down here. Uh, so I'm certainly looking for a potential thrust and a move higher from that perspective. Okay. Uh, bringing up the chart of the French CAC now. Give you an insight in terms of the CAC. Let's bring up the CAC 40. Uh, before I... Uh, yes, bring up the CAC 40. Where is the CAC 40? Oh, here we go. Okay. So the CAC 40, we did go into gap fill support. We failed to hold that due to the euro situation, like I explained earlier. Uh, the euro obviously thrusting higher. De a weekly chart, we are consolidating within, so therefore still remains bullish from my understanding and from my perspective. Daily chart, again, is making this higher low, so we're consolidating around this region for a potential thrust higher. So certainly keep an um, observance on there. 60-minute chart, again, is coming back into this support zone. After building this support, we should certainly hold this support at this juncture, given the fact that the Euro USD is now certainly uh, banging into support. Okay, the Euro stocks now. Uh, before I commence, I try to keep these videos short. I, I promise, folks. But um, so much to discuss, especially from an intermarket analysis perspective. Okay, so the weekly chart of the Euro stocks again. You are consolidating within that green candle. 
uh, although it is on the threat or vulnerable of being broken of being broken down daily chart itself is back into that support zone so certainly observe that 60 minute chart itself again horizontal support back into that zone certainly expecting that to hold even though the euro itself is, is uh, seems to be on a Apollo 13 mission okay so you have um, horizontal support coming in again on the euro stocks so certainly looking for a potential thrust higher you've left an unfilled gap above so that certainly will act as potential support so bear that in mind now let me just take this trade I'm going to go long on the euro stocks okay this is something that I do I trade and I share my uh, trades in real time via the live analysis service so those are those, those of you that want to see myself in real time certainly uh, feel free to email me I offer you a two-week trial and you can certainly observe my selves in real time so I'm certainly looking for a potential move higher here now on the euro stocks given the fact that the bearish uh, news with regards to uh, Nikkei and uh, with regards to the obviously uh, the uh, the euro frosting higher has certainly all been factored in now at this juncture and uh, given the fact that the ECB's QE program is active certainly looking for a thrust higher also the, the Nasdaq is now into support as well so that should certainly help the uh, European equities Okay, and there are several other factors, like I've said, with regards to commodities and, and general news flow as well. Okay, so I think that's a wrap, folks. Be sure to visit uh, cfds.com for your trading needs. Uh, certainly try the demo account and also the live account. Also for educational needs, I do uh, update charts and uh, videos on a daily basis, constantly throughout the day, so be sure to check that out. I give technical analysis updates etc etc okay so surrey.cfds.education is the uh, the actual website to visit okay so i think that's a wrap and uh, trade safe goodbye now